What's up guys and welcome back to Software Auto Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Warzone 2.0. Now these are the recommendations for Call of Duty. It's minimum specifications, a recommendation, and then it's competitive, and then obviously it's 4K. Now obviously you can go ahead and read through these things. I'll leave this link in the description down below so you can go ahead and check this out. But ladies and gentlemen, something that I just want to show you guys is this over here now modern warfare is now on its own it used to be where you can play modern warfare and warzone 3 year now apparently you have to be in here to be able to go and play warzone 2.0 now ladies and gentlemen let me show you the best settings that you can be using to get the best fps to get a smooth gameplay experience and let me make this short sweet and simple and ladies and gentlemen these are the best settings for people out there that's playing warzone 2.0 let's get it going Ladies and gentlemen, it's very, very important to keep your graphics card up to date. So I highly recommend you go ahead and go and do this. Ladies and gentlemen, please go ahead and download 576.86. It's the latest drivers for NVIDIA graphics cards. Please go ahead and download the latest drivers for your graphics card. Doesn't matter if you're running a NVIDIA graphics card or a AMD graphics card. This is the new driver and you need the latest driver to be able to play this game properly. If you have an olden day drive, it's not going to perform as well as it should. Right, ladies and gentlemen, if you have your graphics card drivers up to date, I highly recommend you go ahead and go to the search button over here and type in settings just like this and press enter and then go to update and security. Please go ahead and update your Windows drivers. You need to update your Windows as well. It's very recommended to go ahead and do this. Please keep your Windows up to date. It doesn't matter if it's Windows 10 or Windows 11. After that, you're going to click on the home button over here, go to privacy, scroll all the way down and go to where it says background apps. Now, for a lot of people, if you haven't done this already, please go ahead and do this. If you have this on, please go ahead and switch this off. Otherwise, all of these things are going to run in the background. You might have more things than me or less things than me, but it's going to run things in the background and it's going to use resources like your CPU and your RAM, and you do not want that to happen. Please go ahead and turn this off. Once you're done with that, you're going to click on the home button over here and you're going to go to gaming over here and then game mode. And then from here, you're going to go to graphic settings. From here, I highly recommend you go to Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling and turn this on. Don't worry, I know a lot of people don't have this option. Don't worry about that, I got you covered. But if you do have this option, I highly recommend you go ahead and turn it on. All right, so the next thing you're going to need to do is click on the Browse button over here and you're going to add your game inside here. It's very easy to do. You just click on where your game is installed. Now for Steam users, you're obviously going to go to Steam Install and you're going to scroll down and you're going to go to Steam Apps. You're going to go to Common and then go find your Call of Duty. Just go find your Call of Duty. I don't have it installed on Steam. I haven't installed on Battle.net so just go ahead and find your game and you need to go and look for this let me just show you so my Call of Duty is installed over here Call of Duty you're going to go to this over here scroll all the way down and where it says cod.exe all right it's the biggest application all right you're going to add it you're going to add it inside here you're going to say options high performance, let it select your graphics card and say save. Once you're done with that, you're going to close out of this. Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is very important. If you are an NVIDIA user like me, all you need to do is just right click on your desktop and then go to the NVIDIA control panel. I highly recommend you go ahead and change these settings right now for Call of Duty at this very moment. It's very important you go ahead and do this. The first thing you're going to need to do is go to this over here which says adjust image settings with preview and then go to use the advanced 3D image settings and then click on take me there. It's basically just going to take you to manage 3D settings. So you just click on take me there and it will be over here in global settings now all you need to do is copy my settings over here you can even just pause the video just go ahead and copy my settings that i have over here all right this plays a very big role this one takes a fault in quality i highly recommend you go ahead and change this if you have a lower end graphics card and you know you do have a lower end graphics card anything lower than i don't know a 1080 or anything lower than a 20 series graphics card. Go ahead and put this on performance. Do not put it on high performance. Your game is going to look like horse trash. Please don't do that. Just put it on performance. If you have anything like a 20 series graphics cards and it's good, I'm talking about really good 20 series graphics cards and higher, then you can leave it on quality just like this. You're going to apply these settings here at the bottom and then you're going to go to config and surround and physics you're going to click over here do not say auto select do not say cpu select your dedicated graphics card and you're going to apply these settings as well once you're done with that you're going to close out of this ladies and gentlemen let's jump straight into the game let me show you the best settings you can be using right now at this very moment with all the tests i've done to get the best performance in this game all right let's jump straight into that all right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm in Call of Duty right now. And as you can see, the DMZ is the beta version right now. And then the battery health for Warzone 2.0, they will be doing updates for this. So make sure you subscribe to get more FPS boost guides for that 
make sure you subscribe, hit that motherfucking like button, and leave a comment down below if this actually worked for you. Ladies and gentlemen, all you're going to need to do is go to this little gear icon over here, and then you're going to go to interface first of all. If you do not use MSI Afterburner like me, as you can see on the top left corner, that's MSI Afterburner that I'm using to see what I'm doing with my machine, all right? If you don't use MSI Afterburner or anything like AMD settings and stuff like that that displays on your screen, you can go ahead and turn all of these things on depending on which ones you want on at your own personal preference. All right, from here, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the graphics settings over here and then go to display. And I highly recommend you put this at full screen exclusive for the less input latency. Please go ahead and put this at full screen exclusive. Do not change it. Put it at full screen exclusive and go ahead and apply it if you haven't done that already. Display monitors. Obviously, you can't monitor your native monitor that you're running your game on. This is your dedicated graphics card. This is the refresh rate of your monitor. Please go ahead and set it to the refresh rate of your monitor. If it's a 120, 144, 240, go ahead and set it to that. Display resolution is obviously your display resolution that you're running through your monitor. A lot of people have gaming monitors and stuff like that. The settings inside here is quite complicated, but I'm going to go over it and show you what the best settings is for this game. Go ahead and change this to the highest resolution of your monitor, especially if you have a gaming monitor like a 1440p monitor or whatever the case might be. Go ahead and change it to the highest resolution that you can. All right. Aspect ratio, you're going to leave this on auto. V-Sync, this... I highly recommend you turn this off. If you are getting screen tearing or input latency or just in general like lag, it feels like your game's lagging, but you, it's not the internet, but your game feels stuttery and stuff like that. If it's doing that, go ahead and put VSync on. It will cap your FPS to the refresh rate of your monitor, right? That's pretty much what it does. And it plays a role with screen tearing. If you don't get screen tearing and your game still feels perfectly fine with this off, then I highly recommend go ahead and turn this off so you don't cap your FPS, right? This one you're going to keep off as well this over here custom frame rate limit i keep mine on unlimited a lot of people put this on custom and they go to show more and they put this to whatever the hell they want to it's your own personal preference i keep mine in unlimited so i do unlimited fps in the lobby in the game wherever the case might be i keep mine on unlimited it's your own personal preference over there Restart shade installation, I will come to that just now. This, I put mine on 2.4 because I actually get a little bit more detail out of my game by putting it at 2.4. You can put it at 2.2, it's your own personal preference. It just plays uh, a role with gamma in the game, that's about it. I keep mine at 2.4 right now at this very moment. Brightness, I keep at 60%, so you're going to put this all the way to 60% so you can actually see the Call of Duty symbol like this in the middle. And then from there, you're going to go to this where it says focused mode, and you're going to turn this off. All right, you're going to apply these settings, and then you're going to go to quality. Now, this is where it plays a very, very big role inside the game. Depending on what you change here is depending on how your game is going to look and how it's going to perform. All right, now I have mine obviously on custom because you're going to be changing things inside here. So you're going to put this on custom. Now I use NVIDIA Deal SS for a reason because I have an RTX graphics card and I use it on balanced. Right now at this very moment, I use NVIDIA Deal SS at balance. Now there's a lot of options here. Let me just actually show you. These are for AMD cards and stuff like that. A lot of people are saying you should go ahead and put it on this. I do not recommend you put this on this. You are going to lose frames. I've done a bench test with this on and then with this on. I highly recommend putting DLSS on. If you have NVIDIA DLSS, go ahead and put it on. If you do not have NVIDIA DLSS, then go ahead to change it to this. If you do not have NVIDIA DLSS, then keep it at this or on this. I highly recommend you go ahead and do that. If you do have NVIDIA DLSS like me, put it on NVIDIA DLSS. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to show more and you're going to put this at balance. Yes, you will get more performance out of your game if you put this on performance or ultra performance. I do not recommend ultra performance. Your game starts looking more choppy and stuff like that. And it's going to not look the greatest. So I highly recommend put it on, on balance. So it's going to balance out your performance your quality, and everything all together with balance. But if you're still losing FPS, go ahead and change it to performance. I do not recommend ultra performance. Put it on balance if you can, all right? This you're going to put on 82. It's its default sharpening. I highly recommend you just leave it there. Click on this. This you're going to leave at normal. Please go ahead and leave this at normal. Do not change this. This obviously, it's its default setting. Literally, it gives you a default setting of the video memory scale, what your graphics card can do. So just leave it at its default. This over here, which is texture resolution, I highly recommend you just go ahead and put this at normal. Now, if you're running a very, very low end graphics card, you're going to have to drop this down to either low. Because if you do have, I don't know, like a 4 gig graphics card or a 3 gig graphics card, go ahead and put it at low. But I know a lot of people are playing this game right now with better machines. Just go ahead and put it on normal then. But 
If you want more FPS out of your game, go ahead and put it at low. All right. Texture filter and I highly recommend you go ahead and put this at normal and just leave it at normal. Nearby level of detail, go ahead and put this at low. Distant level of detail, go ahead and put this on low as well. Clutter draw distance, you're going to put this at long. Please do not put this at short. The game's going to start looking really, really bad. Just put it at long and leave it over there. Particle quality, I highly recommend you just leave it at high. It makes the game look a little bit better. Now, what it will do is it will start eating your VRAM if you put this at high. If you put this at low, it will start eating less VRAM while playing the game, not in the setting while playing the game, not being in the settings menu, all right? I can do this with my graphics card that I have right now. I keep mine at high, all right? This you're going to keep at very, very low. Please go ahead and do that. Put it in back spray. Obviously, it doesn't affect FPS, so go ahead and turn this on. Shader quality, go ahead and put this at low. Tessellation at off. Terrain memory, Please go ahead and put this on max. Please go ahead and do that. This one over here, on-demand texture streaming. Please go ahead and turn this off. You do not need this at all in this game. Streaming quality, you're going to put at low. If you want the best performance out of your game and the best FPS out of your game, go ahead and turn this to low. This you're going to turn to low and this you're going to turn off, right? From here, you're going to turn this over here also off. You do not need this at all. This you're going to put on very low. Screen space shadows, you're going to put off. You do not need this. If you start putting this up, you're going to start losing FPS. Trust me on this. Put it off. Spot shadow quality, low. Spot cache, you're going to put this at low. Particle lighting, low. Ambient occlusion, you're going to keep at off if you want really good FPS in this game. Screen space reflections, off. This low, this low. NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency plays a very big role inside this game. I highly recommend you go ahead and either put this at off if you do not get a bottleneck. Yes, this game does have a bench test. Go and test these settings after changing it to what I'm showing you right now. But this over here plays a very big role. Now, with the bench test, it will tell you if you're getting a 0% bottleneck or what type of bottlenecking you're getting. All right. Now, if you have a low end gaming graphics card and a really good CPU or a low end gaming CPU and a very good graphics card, you can get bottlenecking in this game and it's going to start dropping FPS inside the game while you are playing it. Now, this is why this option is here. So either put it on or put it on boost, on plus boost, then go do a bench test only with this option, only with this option. Please go ahead and do that. Go do a bench test. It will tell you if you are getting any bottlenecking, right? So if you don't get any bottlenecking, it shows zero on on plus boost, then leave it here. If you don't get any bottlenecking on on, then put it here. If you don't get any bottlenecking on off, then put it off. As simple as that, all right? This one will be a depth of field. You do not need it. It's a multiplayer game. Put it off. World motion blur. Go ahead and turn this off as well. Weapon motion blur. Put it off it's a multiplayer game this one over here film gain i highly recommend you go ahead and turn this all the way down you do not need this at all ladies and gentlemen this is your own personal preference over here every single thing inside here is your own personal preference i can't tell you what to put this on but if you want to copy my settings you are welcome to go ahead and do so all right it's just your own personal preference all right now this is where it comes into play a very big role you're going to go to display you're going to go all the way down to what it says restart shader optimization all right. Once you applied all of these settings, you need to click on this and it's going to apply the settings. Then it's going to apply these settings. I just told you to change right now. Then wait till the shaders have finished installing. Once you are done with that and it's completely done installing, please go ahead and restart your game. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel for your new year. And as always, peace out.